Hey guys. Okay, so the video that to this day I still get the most questions on is the one I made three years ago for a DIY latex mask. It was back before I ever did voiceover and I think it's kind of hard to follow because it's completely visual. So I figured it only made sense to finally remake it and make it much more clear for people who are hoping to recreate this. So hopefully this makes more sense and some of you can get some use out of it. To start off, you wanna protect your brows from the latex since it will stick to the brow hair. So sealing them with either glue stick or spirit gum or Prosade is the first step and then just let that dry. This in no way has to be pretty since it's just to protect, it's not to actually block out your brows. When that's fully dry, you then wanna sketch out the shape of the mask that you're going for. I used a black aqua cream for my flash palette, but gel liner works just as well. And you can do this in any color you wish and whatever shape you are after. This step helps for later when you need to trim the mask from all the excess latex and will help you maintain the shape throughout the painting process. Be sure to fill it in fully, and when you apply the latex on top, it actually will pick up this layer, so when you remove the mask later, it will be a part of it. To fill in my mask, I am just using Ben Nye's Clear Liquid Latex, and you wanna use brushes or a sponge that you are more than happy to throw away when you're done because the latex will destroy them. Latex does contain a small amount of ammonia in it, which gives off a slight fume as it dries, and you may feel this if you're too close to the eye area. I tend to just keep my eye that I am working around closed, as that will only last a few seconds. I like using a brush for the first layer so I can get the shape properly established, and then from there you can kind of bounce back and forth between doing a sponge layer and the brush around the nose and smaller areas. Ultimately, the area you wanna pay most attention to is the curve on your nose bridge, since that is where the advantage of this method comes in as it will form fit to your face specifically. In total, I did nine layers of liquid latex before powdering it down. You wanna make sure it's fully dry before you move on to the step. And then the powder is so that when you pull it off, the latex will not stick to itself and you remove any of the tackiness. I just use a translucent powder here. You can use whatever powders you have on hand. And then as you pull it off your face, you wanna do the exact same thing, making sure to get powder underneath on the opposite side, and then just go slowly and remove it from your face. And here you can just see the real advantage, that little curve where your nose bridges is exactly what you wanna see, since that means that it will be secure to your face. And then you can do a little bit of touch up off your face. So the first thing you wanna do is trim off all the edges. This is where the paint from before really comes in handy. As you can see, you can totally see where the line should be and the rest is easy to just cut away. You'll wanna make sure you have a pair of very sharp scissors on hand since latex is difficult to cut with anything dull. You would probably be better off to use a pair of smaller scissors than what I am using, but I tend to just use whatever I have near me, so that's why I'm using these massive ones. When you have that done, you wanna move on to painting. For this, I mix the latex with a black acrylic. The mask has lost some darkness with all of the layers that we put on, so this will help bring back that finish, as well as you can take this time to smooth out any textures that you might have on the mask. And you wanna mix it with the latex, since latex sticks to latex, and it will have more flexibility when it is dry. I sat mine on my face cast while I did this, but you can just lay it flat to paint or you can stick it on a foam wig head if you have one. I just did two coats of the black paint and the latex and then that was it for the mask. The next part is to apply it. So to start off, I blocked down my brows with the spirit gum. This again is just so that when you take it off, you don't accidentally rip out any brow hairs. You can do this again with a glue stick, whatever you have on hand. Spirit gum is an easy one to use because it's pretty accessible for most people, especially around Halloween, and it comes with a remover, which immediately dissolves it, so it makes it a lot easier for taking off when you're done. I then just quickly powdered my brows to remove any tackiness, and from there, I did use the spirit gum to apply it, but you could also use Prosade or even lash glue, whatever you have works for you. I got a pretty even coating around my entire mask. I do tend to leave the brow area kind of alone anyways, just to be on the safe side. And then what you wanna do is apply it first to the bridge of your nose where the curve is, make sure it is secure, and then you can go around each side and slowly press it down. You'll wanna make sure you gave your adhesive enough time to get tacky, so then this should be able to just press it down and it should stay. If it isn't, it's probably not quite dry yet and you just wanna give it a little bit more time. But then you will have your latex mask fully secure on your face. This should stay on through just about anything. Even if you're going head banging this Halloween, you should be set for this one. But that is it for my latex mask DIY. I hope this one made much more sense than my video from three years ago. I hope it can help some of you. And until next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.